Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning My name is Mutiara Nabila Purnamasani I am the delegation of University I am the delegation of Universitas Pendidikan Muhammadiyah Sorong or Uni Muda Sorong and I'm in here as a Prime Minister I would like to I would like to uh, express my speech about the motion this house as a first generation immigrant parents of color in a predominant in predominantly white country would choose to live and raise children in an ethnic enclaves as we know as the history of human life some of our encasta is already to immigration in many lands many area and from that we know that in one area is not only uh, lived by one uh, one ethnic so many ethnic and one country so we believe that the if if par if an immigrant's parents of color they choose uh, to la to live and raise children in an ethnic enclaves from the culture side they can't be ensure their ethnic and uh, the in they can they can intro they can introduce their ethnic on an area they uh, new they new new area they lived from the from the culture they bring it from their own their own area and uh, if they live in ethnic enclaves they have a Sociality and solidarity more stronger because they are one ethnic. They are from one ethnic and from one area, so they become um, so they become to support each other and uh, social uh, sociologically and ethnic enclaves is a girl graphical area with a high concentration of ethnicity, distinctive cultural identity and economic activity. Because immigrants tend to congregate in close geographic spaces, they develop migrant network system or interpersonal relationship through which participant can live in one area So we believe that if so we believe that immigrant parent of color in a predominantly white country, if they choose to live and raise children in an ethnic enclaves, it will bring a positive impact from sociality, from economic, from politic and all and all. I think that's all my speech thank you well thanks a lot for the chance that you've given to me to stand in front here before i would like to uh, reveal the case of the first uh, proposition now uh, i would like to introduce myself my name is musa hawaii uh, i'm the uh, delegation of the education university of muhammadiyah sorong and uh, I would like to explain about uh, the motion today is as a first generation immigrant parent of color in a predominantly white country would choose to live and raise children in ethnic enclave. Well, I think um, that's very important. Now here, uh, I think as a immigrant, we have to protect and then uh, we have to or build and plan our uh, ethnic culture in another country that we came from. So I think as a generation, we have to build and make a communication one with other to protect our uh, uh, culture, if you know, in a uh, true language or uh, through our uh, daily activity, we have to teach our new generation as uh, uh, immigrants. So another people in uh, another country, they can be able to understand that we are still alive in, uh, you know, uh, in plan and then try to combine our uh, culture in another country. And secondly, 
uh, we have the big uh, solidarity to improve and make uh, there are a lot of even that uh, give the education especially in our own people or our own generation to educate how we can be able to convey and improve our uh, culture in uh, another country or another uh, region because that's very very important for us and also as the parents from uh, immigration uh, uh, country we are able to give the education to our uh, children how they can be able to remember how they can be able to learn how they can be able to uh, know well about their own ethnic because it's very important when we are uh, you know when we don't know exactly about uh, our culture or our ethnic that means that uh, another people will say to us that we are not humanity because respect is everything so we have to respect about our culture or our uh, you know ethnic so people in uh, the country that uh, we came from they can uh, appreciate our presence in their country that even though people from another country came to our country but they are able to remember they are able to improve they are able to combine they are able to protect their ethnic because it's it's very important so uh, in here i do believe that as a foreign people i mean uh, immigration we must uh, protect and we must protect our uh, culture because it's very very important and it's it's a good uh, motivation it's a good education as uh, to you know that uh, how we can be able to achieve our dream in another country we have to protect and combine and give a lot of motivation to our kids or our children so they can uh, be able to protect and they can implement it in their own life because it's very very important so in here i really appreciate and i do believe i agree that this motion it's very very important so i think is a uh, uh, as a people, especially as a parent, we have to remember about that. It's very important as a, uh, you know, as a parent or as the community, because uh, through my observation, when I uh, I search in internet or learn in school, that community as a uh, immigration, they always creative to do many things that uh, improve their uh, ethnic or uh, their culture, and I think that's really really important. So, and, and now the conclusion is, as a people in the world or in a country, we have to pretend, we have to protect, we have to teach, and we have to give more about education and then culture to our kids or our children because that's very important. Without the culture, without the uh, ethnic, we are not human being because, uh, you know, uh, if we live in the world, we have to show our good behavior to another people through our uh, ethnic because that's our identity so we have to uh, you know uh, give the best motivation to our kids so our kids they can learn more about that so okay i think that's all my explanation about uh, my argument thank you very much